I am really excited today to talk to you about a device that's so revolutionary for your 3D printed pictures that you will be going from pictures like this to pictures like this with basically no work at all. Does it sound too good to be true? Yes, but that's why I'm excited because this device is the real deal and it is indeed everything that the creator has promised it would be. I'm Petronius Pixel, let's get into this. This is the TD-1 by Ajax 3D. If you would like to get it right now, there'll be a link in the description to his Patreon where you can pick up your license, but you will have to self-source everything. However, if you want to get it fully assembled, you can buy it from Ajax or Polymaker, and the release date is Friday, so stay tuned. But I couldn't wait because when he told me what this thing does, I couldn't believe it and I had to try it. So I sourced all the parts and then built it up. I was simply not prepared for how much time this thing was going to save me and how it was going to completely transform my HueForge game from, oh, okay, that's cool, to, to holy crap, oh yeah. But I can hear you guys behind the screen yelling at me, yeah, what does it actually do though? I mean, come on, it's just a box and wait, there's not even a single button on it, a USB port and a screen that doesn't seem to work. Before we get to how to use it, I want to explain what it does. And the best way is looking at all these pictures here. In HueForge, this actually looked pretty good, but when I printed it, I got this. This is the most tricky part about HueForging. What HueForge thinks the transmission distance of the filament is and what it actually is has to be as accurate as humanly possible. If it's not, this is what you get. When you finally print, your layers don't blend like they did in the software and you're left with Zombie Lady. The same thing goes for this right here. The red on her skin has a lot lower TD than what I set in HueForge. And the only way for me to fix that is to spend hours and hours and hours testing swatches and trying to dial it in and tweak it and print after print, which is a nightmare and time consuming. But all of that changes with the TD-1 because what this does is it lets you stick some filament into this little receiving port here and it will tell you the color and the TD. Now the color feature is not quite there yet because he's still working on it, but the TD, which is the most important thing about this, ergo the name, is working phenomenally. And I really got a tactile confirmation of that with this print right here. I have been trying to nail skin tones for so long and they're easy to do in black and white, but really to do them in color is incredibly complicated because if you're off even just a little bit, the skin can look yellow or too blue or of course the Oompa Loompa orange. It is so freaking hard. The only way to get good skin tones is to have your TDs dialed to the T. And cue the title music. This is exactly what the TD-1 does. So you plug it into your computer, it boots up and it says, insert filament. You load up HueForge and all the settings for the TD-1 are right here. But you don't even have to do anything because you could just stick your filament in, yoink, wait a few seconds, and voila, it'll pop up with the color and the TD and it will change the TD automatically. Now, this TD is already at 5.9, which is accurate. And you can see right here, it tells you the TD and the hex code on the screen itself. Now I did notice on this print that these yellows are more prominent than they were in HueForge. And that tells me that I have the TD of the yellow wrong. Funny thing is, the only color that I did not calibrate with the TD1 before I did this print was yellow because it was a brand new spool and I was running out the door and didn't have time. I did pay for that, but let's do that right now. Let's calibrate my yellow. So I will right click bamboo basic yellow, edit filament, and let's stick this in here. Got a little piece of it. We'll stick it in. Wait a second. Aha, I was right. The TD is lower in reality than what HueForge was reporting. The lower the TD, the stronger the color will be shown. So when I slice this up, I thought that it would be a 6 TD, but it's actually a 5.2, meaning the yellow will show more. So we're gonna add and close, then save library, save, bam. Now we have an accurate representation. 
Now we can see that yellow just like it is in real life, given the fact that this TD is accurately portrayed by Hugh Forge. The reason why this is so revolutionary is because before the TD-1, there was just no good way to calibrate your TDs unless you were willing to sit down for a week or more, given how many filaments you actually have in your library. Some people out there have hundreds of different filaments, and that's just not feasible. But this is really just that easy. You can even set it to continuous mode and just take one out, put one in, it'll save the filaments as you go. You can type it and press enter. It's amazing. It only took me about 30 minutes to cut strands from every single one of the filaments that I had, go into Hue Forge, right click edit, slide this in, boom, update, save, close. Next one, slide this in, update, close. It felt so amazing to get all that work done, whereas before I would be printing these swatches and looking at them and trying to calibrate the TDs or just or trying to do it by sight, going to the HueForge Discord and asking for advice. Calculating the TDs is incredibly difficult. All the while, Ajax kept telling me, dude, build your TD1. It truly is a tool like no other. It's a must have. But what's more, this isn't just for HueForge. Many manufacturers are already using the TD1 as a way to maintain the quality and consistency of their filaments from start to finish of a spool and across different generations of that filament line. Now, if you have any questions or comments, make sure to post them down below. But guys, if you're planning on doing HueForge, this is not a want, this is a need, trust me. Congratulations, Ajax, you've really done it. This is Petronius Pixel, and I'll catch you next time. Oh, hello there. It's at this point that many of you might be asking yourselves, did I just join a cult? It's a perfectly valid question. Just make sure to like and subscribe. I repeat, like and subscribe. Also click up here or over there. Just click somewhere on the screen. It doesn't actually matter where you click. That's the secret.